Hey Bruce here today. I'm here going to talk about um, the new Anthem update by Bioware. But before we get started, make sure to subscribe if you're new and like the video and enjoy it. So let's get started. So, um, on the website here, um, they had a new update about the loot system and equipment goals for Anthem um, on July 31st. So, it says, hello again, I hope this finds you well and appreciate everyone's patience as we work through the right timing for new information. We're excited to share with you our next blog, but we're also one want to be respectful of the larger conversations happening in the world and it continues blah 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 and then it goes to satisfying loot experience a good player experience depends on the loot system being extensible and robust and a lot can go wrong and, and a lot did go wrong as they continue um, so they're trying to say they're understanding classmate many great units that is part of this okay so they've been looking at the feedback and all they've been keeping thoughts about um, what we as the fan base have talked about and said um, but they're they're wanting to increase the frequency of loot drops, and loot is viable more often. Auto arms are better, more competitive, but there's still a chance of getting some ex exceptional. A lot of loot rarities have. Strategic value throughout progression, and then it says embrace choice. You can pursue specific loot without relying on randomness alone. Quest specified vendors, unique loot tables. Okay, that's nice. That sounds pretty good. It's like for me, I've been trying to get like a weapon, and it's been so hard to get because. It's so random right now. The loot system is. It's hard to get what you want. But even though it's got a little better since the beginning of the game, but you know, this this sounds it sounds good. Um, modify your loot, including rerolling, inscription, and leveling up items. That's that's new. That sounds neat. What's mean by leveling up items? Like um, upgrading them somehow? Mind if I'm including the rerolling descriptions? Hmm. I guess it will have to be some sort of cost. Maybe some minerals you find. Like the mythic uh, uh, mining materials and stuff like that. Maybe something we do with those materials we can use for that. Maybe. Um, represents game and development. Create a rewarding loot experience. Loot feels exciting, more noticeable when it drops, and celebrated when collected. Rare enemies, aka walking treasure chest, create exciting moments to get burst of loot all at once. That sounds good because most enemies don't drop a lot besides the titans and the big um beast i forgot what they're called um they tend to drop big stuff and those um you know at the end of the dungeon the like giant spider does and that kind of stuff and i'm guessing this is the example of what it'll look like um i'm assuming Hmm. It's interesting. And then 
It says keep it accessible and immediate. Reveal a and equip loot right away. Complete revamp of the equipment sheet, including the detailed stat sheet not shown. Uh, okay. So we'd be able to see um, equipment sheet with detailed stats of what we have right then and there. And I'm guessing this video shows what the stuff looks like on the side of the rewards. Because this dude just dropped a ton of stuff. Which must be what it says over here about burst of loot. I'm assuming, which is a lot more loot than right now, because right now it's usually only two drops for those guys, um, which is pretty good because those guys are really hard to kill, especially on Grandmaster 3, because that's why I play. Um, but continuing this, the equipment sheet can be accessed from anywhere, it allows you to easily see. Yeah, so you would be able to see the equipment sheet whenever you want. So I'm guessing when you like press the start button, you'd be able to see, oh, the equipment sheet, like right here on the screen, huh? And they also changed the icons too. It looks like this must be what um must be for the uh, 2.0. I'm guessing they're. This is like the progress, I'm assuming. The same. Um, yeah, I think so. Yeah. It sounds pretty good so far. Um, and then it's talking about how we have to rely on the uh, bonus. Um, stuff and inscriptions for it to do a lot more damage because right now the jump of damage from mythic to legendary is not that good it's only by a couple like 10 5 maybe something like that not that great um, so instead of us relying on the weapon damage inscriptions we'd be able to hopefully have a bigger gap of can tell the difference from like mythic to legendary damage a lot better I'm assuming that's what it means um, which is good um, hmm let's go cool. um, about game exact types of bonuses you want yeah okay basically same stuff Scale for the future, our power cap can be easily increased and lose system scales accordingly. Okay. So it increases, this loose system increases as our power increases, which makes sense. The power cap, that, that makes sense because once you get high, hopefully you get higher stuff as well and right now I mean it is right now but not that great not where it should be obviously especially for me I play Grandmaster 3 um, and the last time I play I got a lot of blues and purples which I'm kinda hoping for more mythics and legendaries and what I need right now is legendaries because most of my stuff I mostly I think legendary now I just have like four more things that are, that are mythics that I need to get to legendary so that sounds good uh, and it looks like they have weapon stuff too like new weapons other areas exploration so it just feels oh okay okay so just talking about new weapons and like new um, concepts so it shows like the different um, what things looked like 
Urgoth. That's the big creature I was talking about earlier. So it's like a weapon based off of that. And the Scars, Dom um, Dominion, and Freelancer. Okay. So I'm guessing those are the different types of guns you can get based on those factions and even based on creatures, which is kind of cool. Um, obviously, we haven't seen anything like that before, but if they do that for um, 2.0, that'd be cool. Hopefully, they can like do like add some stuff right now, but they probably won't. Because they're working on the 2.0 or Anthem next, which hopefully will come sometime, maybe next year, maybe the year after that. It depends on, you know, our situation with COVID and all, well, their situation with COVID and everything. So, you know, and and they're say, saying saying. It's not easy fix. Um, the stuff is so it'll take time. So, yeah, they're testing all the loot and the equipment, and it says that future blocks will probably dig into those stuff about new weapons and stuff. But they're excited, and they want us to be excited as well. And they thank us for being interested in, in Passion for Atham. But yeah, um, that's the end of the thing. Um, so basically, they're just wanting to tell us that how they want to do the loot and how they want to do the weapons and how they want to change it for the better for us as a consumer and the uh, players to have a better experience playing the game obviously but hopefully they do other stuff um, like adding new like dungeons and all that kind of stuff hopefully we'll see that later in later updates um, but yeah that's about it um, so Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Um, and also hit that bell to be notified whenever I upload another Anthem update on the channel. And like the video, enjoy it. And I'll see you next video. Peace.